Hi, Dan. You talk about the path that you think will lead to your goal is never the right path. Could you explain that further? It's true. On a small scale, it may not be exactly true because if you need a drink of water and you know where to get it, if that's your goal and you know where to go get a drink of water, you know that path because it's one that you've been down many times. But if you're going in a path where you're not sure how to get there, then you try to depend on your logic, which is basically the accumulation of all your past experiences. You try to make a decision based on what you've seen happen in your life in the past and predict what's going to happen if you take this step, this certain step in the future. Most of the time, if you're looking for a goal, especially if it's a goal that's a large goal that you have no idea how to get from point A to point B, like Genevieve Barron wanted to go study with Thomas Troward and she figured it would take her, in today's money, would take her about a little over $500,000 and she didn't have $500,000 and she didn't have any idea where to get it. But she followed not her logic, but followed her intuition and followed her heart and that money appeared in her life. She doesn't go into detail about exactly how it appeared. But if you're looking at your path in life, think of it like a mountain stream. The mountain stream follows a general path but that path is not the straightest path from point A to point B, from the top of the mountain to the ocean. Sometimes it's a very wandering path, but the forces, the energy, as the water is finding its way down the mountains into the larger rivers to go to the ocean, it may be taking a very different path than the shortest possible path. It's taking the path of least resistance. It's taking the, the easiest path. Uh, Neville calls it the effortless way. And when that's the guiding factor and your mind is open to infinite intelligence, which knows what the easiest, what the effortless way is, then things start to appear in your life that take you from your point A where you are to point B where your destination, where you want to be, but almost always not on the path that you had, had originally thought was going to be the way. Sometimes, sometimes it seems like you're going in the wrong direction. But source energy, because it's infinite and has all understanding, all knowledge, knowledge is energy. Knowledge is the accumulation of facts, but understanding and knowledge and the solution to a problem, all possible solutions are already present. That energy is already present in infinite intelligence. And because that energy is always present and all of the energy, all of the possible infinite number of paths from point A to point B are already understood, you don't have to worry about whether infinite intelligence knows the right path because it knows all the paths. And if you think of it in religious terms, you think of it as the mind of God, Allah, Krishna, whatever name you give to it, the mind of God all things are present. Infinity is contained within the mind of God. Infinity is contained in infinite intelligence and all possible paths are already there. Your possible paths from where you are today to where you are a year from today, there are an infinite number of paths because every moment you're taking, making a decision, making a choice, taking a step. Thanks for being with us today. My goal is to give you value with every lesson. If you would like us to notify you every time a new lesson is ready, click subscribe below, then turn on notification. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks.